Sportsman's Adventures is presented by Yamaha. Because maybe I might want to take that one home. That's some good eating. Only a mama could love that mouth. Bringing home the snapper. That's what Florida is famous for. Let's talk about these temperatures because they are the coldest we've seen in years. 29 now in Tampa, but we've dropped to 30 in Clearwater, 28 in Plant City. Here's the feels like temperature. Look at Tampa. Your wind chill is 19. Man, babe, it's really cold. What do you want to do, Pop? Let's go fishing. Let's go. You know, I've been fishing professionally for over 35 years, and most days as a guide, you can make a call at the dock or even the night before based on weather conditions. And I will tell you, I don't think I've ever fished in weather that was this cold. But the good thing about fishing is that it's something that always humbles you. And even though we thought that it was going to be really tough, the truth is we don't always have the right answers when we leave the dock. And to be able to fish in these extremely cold conditions, having ice on the boat, that changes the game a little bit. But you know what? Because Jeffrey's such a great fishing guide, Remember? he knows where they live, day in and day out. Got him. Got another one, Rick. I see that. You know this water's in the 50s. No doubt. 57, 58, something like that. Not as big as the last one, but same color. You ever notice when it's cold, they just almost get that pinkish white. Yeah. Plus he's on the sand bottom, so that helps him blend in too, so Popeye can't find it. That's right. Whew. Just like old time, Mr. Murphy. You remember that time in 2003 when we were fishing in the Redfish Tour in Titusville? We came out, there was ice on the deck. If I Those were the best day of red fishing ever. that you and I ever had. We had 87 on the first day and caught 68 on the second day. And we crazy put, fishing. We put all top all Maverick teams in the top ten. Yep. Remember that? Yep. We came in third. Bostick and Miller came in fifth, and Tudor and Roland came in second. Not another one, Rick. Good thing we ain't fishing the tournament today. I'm gonna have to hand you a jig up there. I can't jig. Oh, and that's hold right. At the same time. They're stacked in this hole. Now, if I put the power pole down, maybe I could help you. Ooh. But you know what? I'm enjoying watching you catch them, Paige. Oh, there's another one underneath. I know, that one. I know. We found them. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice fish. Nice fish. Take your time and enjoy it, Paige. Brother, you don't get to be on the front of the boat too much. Guess what? You know? I enjoy any time I get to fish with you. So we started out together 2001. Yep. Yep. Back when Sarasota was the promised land, remember? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody had always fished Tampa Bay or Port Charlotte or Ponta Gorda and not a lot of guys knew about how good the fishing was here and I'll never Sarasota forget Bay. that sportsman adventures we did in Buttonwood in that trim spa 21 redfish for years. Yeah. Remember they were eating the skitter walks? Blowing it out of the water. Blowing it out of the water. That one with that first one we caught, we'd be out about 12 pounds right now. Yes, sir. Same color. Look at that, Rick. Yes, sir. All right. 
And we'll let this one go. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Rapala. Catch the latest at Rapala.com. Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. Okuma. Inspired Fishing. And Startron. Cures and prevents fuel problems. Master your most challenging offshore experience with confidence and ease with Yamaha Helmmaster. Precise, intuitive control on the open sea. Unrivaled ease for maneuvering and docking in port. And now Setpoint adds three new dimensions to boat control. Maintain boat position with fish point. Or a position and heading with stay point. Or a heading while you drift with drift point. Yamaha Helmmaster. Now with Setpoint. Complete digital control for today's larger offshore boats. As close as you're gonna get to a sure thing for catching billfish is Guatemala. They're here, man. This has been a 20 year run, buddy. These things haven't left, there's no cycle. When it comes to sail fishing, this is the real deal. The amount of sailfish here is ridiculous. Building Conservation Trust, or BCT, is Coastal Conservation Association's national habitat program. BCT is striving to be the largest program of its kind in the United States by restoring degraded habitats, creating new habitats, advancing the science of coastal habitat and marine fisheries conservation, fostering habitat stewardship, and educating coastal communities of the value of conservation. Visit www.buildingconservation.org to learn more on how you can make a difference. Thanks for watching Sportsman's Adventures. You can catch all the happenings, contests, and appearances by visiting us on sportsmansadventures.com. There you can find us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, but best of all, you never have to miss a show because you can find full episodes of Sportsman's Adventures along with tips and techniques, bonus clips, and even some bloopers. Also, if there's a product that we use during the show, that you would like more information on, you can find links to our sponsors at the bottom of the home page. You know, I was born in 1961, and 60s and 70s, I was all in school, but as soon as I got out of high school, a lot of my friends went to college, and I just didn't ever want to grow up and be responsible, so most of the 80s were me running my life my way, and it didn't pan out too well to where in 1991, I finally had to surrender and try a new way of life. And I turned my life around. And I was living over on the east coast of Florida and I can remember watching early sportsman's adventures going, man, this guy Rick Murphy, he's something. You know, I'd always heard these stories of Rick Murphy, but in 2001, I had already kind of got a boat deal with Maverick Boat Company and was dealing with some guys up in Tampa called Family Boating. And Jim Lemke brought Murphy as a partner one day, and me and Murphy hit it off, and the next thing I know, I'm fishing with him. And I was immediately drawn to how intense he was and how much passion he had for fishing. And that's kind of when our friendship began. And I gotta say, I've been around a lot of great fishermen. The one thing that he brought to the table was how he could work a jig on the bottom and catch fish when no one else could. And to this day, I still am learning little quirks and little tweaks that he does all the time. But over those years, when you're around a guy and you're living together on the road, fishing tournaments all over the country, the one thing you can be assured of, you get to know each other. It's more than just catching a few fish. And that's kind of how me and Rick's friendship is. We love fishing together, but we enjoy doing a lot together. You know, not only are we friends and 
we do business things together, but to be considered the best man in his wedding, <clears throat> you know, that's, that's an honor in itself. You know what? I don't have lots of friends, real friends, and Rick Murphy's one of them. Oh, get him. Get him, Jeffrey. Whoa, you pulling back hard there, bub. <clears throat> that may be red. It may not be Shepard. He's digging like a redfish, isn't he? Yeah, little rat, little rat. Ricky? Little Ricky rat. Good, 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 good. So Jeffrey, why are we fishing back here in the, we never fish in I know, you know. Bay in the neighborhoods. What's because the difference? This is a winner that's like a real winner. And instead of the fish just pushing in holes on the flats, they've gone back a click to the docks. Not that they're not always some fish on docks, right. but this redfish would rather be back here than out there on those flats. So I have a theory. All right, let's hear your theory. Want me to bring them to you? Sure. My theory is that when you have all this concrete jungle, yeah, you have sea walls, you got concrete um, docks, you got wood structured docks, but more importantly, it all conducts heat. And I've seen at the, at Flamingo, mm -hmm. where the water temperature in uh, 200 feet from the mouth of the marina versus up against the seawall, this time of year, I've seen it be four degrees difference. That's what we have here. Yeah. 56, 57 out there, 52, 53. And you know, all of this is surrounded by oysters. And then more importantly, all the houses act as if, you know, kind of like a buffer, a knockdown, you know? Right. And so what that ends up doing is it keeps the uh, warmth in. And then the other thing that also happens is when all this gets exposed this time of the day, and then the sun comes up and it incubates all the stuff that is exposed. Right. And then guess what happens? When the tide finally gets high enough, they can move over onto that oyster bar, yeah, onto warm. the mud bar. It's been baking in the sun. And guess what? It's that click one or two degrees warmer. And that's why they do this and position themselves here. Certainly as they, as the water cools off, you have the metabolism of the fish slows down so they don't require as much food to eat as they do in the summer and spring. The hotter it is, the more they gotta eat. Agreed. So. The other thing about this basin, where we're anchored, 10 feet deep. Under that dock, four to six feet deep. Some of your docks in the back, shallower. The deeper docks in the winter seem to produce more fish because like you said, the bottom's a little bit warmer. Yeah, yeah. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by PowerPole. Swift, silent, secure. Contender boats, always in the game. CCA and Building Conservation Trust, partners in conservation. Casa Vieja Lodge, five-star angling in beautiful Guatemala. FWC, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. And Suffix, always use the best line. one of the most ancient forms of hide-and-seek known to man. And nobody knows how to play the fishing game better than the backcountry guides and offshore captains of the Florida Keys and Key West. Ready or not, here we come. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. And that's all we need. We need that quarter 
Yeah? Stop working right now! Look outside. Is this spreadsheet weather? No, it's not. This is fishing weather, so stop clicking, get out there, and catch a bass! Stop what you're doing and start fishing Rapala Ripstop. Imagine waking up every day of your life knowing that Jeff Page is gonna call. Some days he calls four or five times. <laughs> and, and one of the things that I love about him is that he might not get me the first time that he tries. But I can tell you that same intensity that he has for fishing, he also has for communicating. And he will keep calling and keep calling and keep calling, sometimes five and six times a day until I answer the phone. Because a lot of times, he won't answer, or his wife will call and he'll hang up on me because mama's calling. So we gotta get back where we left off. And you know, a lot of times I'll have these fish and I'll have them facing one way in the current and I've never seen that situation. And I'll run it by him. And it's kind of neat that you have a friendship that's built that way. You don't find that every day. Page. Captain Page. Yes, sir. What you got? Oh, a no, a sheep. A convict fish. Shepherd. I wonder if my shrimp fell off because of yeah, no barb did. on my jig head. <laughs> I like it. What you think? I think that the convict fish is at its finest. So Jeffrey, this cold water fishing. 55 degrees right now. Yeah. That changes everything, doesn't it? Totally. What happened to this dude's eye? He became Marty Feldman <laughs> by eating the Young shrimp. Frankenstein. <laughs> that shepherd will prong you. Now, yeah, he will prong you. Those, those little... Spines. That top set of horns are deadly. Yeah, they really like to stick those in you. I don't understand what happened to his little eyeball there. It looks like you can still see though. Yeah, yeah. Your pliers are right there. So on how the... do you, I know you love to eat the shepherd. All right, there's a couple ways. An old commercial fisherman, Skeeter Poppy taught me, is you make a fish chowder with vegetables, carrots, potatoes. Mm -hmm and get all your broth and all your base done. And then you take your sheephead filet and cube it up into small chunks about yay big. Right. And then slide that into the, into the uh, stew or chowder last and just let it cook for like five more minutes. What's different about that filet than say a speckled trout is the meat will stay firm in the stew and not just crumble. Right. So you get good chunks, almost like a scallop. Oh. That sheephead makes good, chunk but it's pure white there's no dark meat in it it's not like a drum right. he's not a member of the drum family no and boy i tell you what when you see barnacles on the pilings like pilings that. that's a place that might start looking and that's one of the things we're going to talk about in right. this show is how do you find new places you know okay good job Paige. you know what i think my jig head I think you need to Because change. it doesn't have a barb. I think my shrimp fell off as soon as it hit the water. Here's one with a barb, and I'd go with that lighter one anyway. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Ameritrail. Load, launch, relax. Maverick Boat Group, makers of premium boat brands Maverick, Hughes, and Pathfinder. Soft Science, Supreme Comfort Footwear. The American Fishing Tackle Company, any fish, any water, since 1958 and the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are.
key to a great boating experience has the Yamaha name on it. It's your key to legendary reliability. Right now, during the Yamaha Key to Reliability sales event, purchase any qualifying Yamaha outboard and exercise your power of choice between five years of Yamaha warranty protection or up to $1,500 in Yamaha dealer credit. The key to reliability is now your key to a great deal on a Yamaha outboard. Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Snooky, there's a Snooky. Good one too. Let's go on this side right here. It's a good one, man. Yeah, he is. You know why he's a good one? Cause he's on your line. All right. So, I got to fish our good friend Roland Martin. Yeah couple weeks ago yeah and you know what the most fun is what all day long when you fish with Roland you know what you're saying oh son oh son <laughs> you catch a fish you lose a fish yeah uh, you hook a fish now you page you know what's crazy is the, Talk to me. the key to this fishing Urban fishing, perfect, perfect. Might have to retie there, okay. bub. But the reason why this little cul-de-sac here is warmer, it's three degrees warmer on the temperature yeah. gauge because of, look, the sun is piled up on there and it's incubating that wall and the concrete puts off, radiates heat. It's awesome. So Jeffrey, you know, we're talking about fishing all these concrete community areas where it gets warmer. So we came back in this area. All these areas got black oysters and whatnot. But look what we're starting to find now. This is day three. This of is the day cold. three of the cold. Plus, it's been cold. We had right. two weeks ago, we had really bad cold. And now we're starting to find things laying on the bottom, things starting to float up. Lift that snook up. This is what happens when we have severe cold Ugh. in the northern parts of the snook areas. Ugh. That fish weighs what, 20, 25 pounds? Oh yeah. That will break your heart. But you know what, Rick? I've been guiding every day, and this is the first big fish I've seen. But if you pan around, you can see there's pelicans and buzzards. Yeah, the pelicans and the buzzards they know that this is getting ready to happen. Do you know how old that fish is? 10 years yeah, old, probably at least. least. Snooky. Captain Page, the wintertime specialist. I don't know anybody better than catch him in the wintertime than Captain Page. I'll tell you one of the funnest days ever. It's wading down there in, in uh, Widdens Creek. Oh yeah, that, oh. Was, that was a sportsman's adventure. That Never forget. We shot two of them in one day. Crazy. Crazy. That's another decent one. Yeah, man. Look at that. Oh. Wore through the leader. God. 20 pounds. Maybe we should go up a little. Nah. I'd rather get the bike. That's it. That's what you taught me. <laughs> Here's your jig back. Got it. So, Mr. Jeffrey. Mr. Snook. People say that you can't catch a snook. I beg to differ. You know, that the key is that the fish are biting because they're going to have to. These fish got to eat. Exactly. This is about survival back here. This ain't about food. Right. But when they see him puffing the mud on the bottom and it's an easy take, they're gonna eat him. Yeah. He's a little skinny, so he's living off of his fat from the fall. That's right. Definitely warming up, though. I had to take my jacket off. You did? Yeah, man. That's him. Nice one, Rick. Nice. Let me get my line. Oh. Paige, this is the craziest 
funnest like all these sea walls fishing. There, yeah, man, what's not to like? What you told me. It's, and I would be willing to bet, Jeffrey, when this stall starts warming up, and those mullets start swimming back into these canals for the same reason. If you just switch from a jig to a plug, like a rapala. Mm. Like a twitching rap? A twitching mullet. Twitching mullet? Yeah. I bet you, you'll catch them. Oh, man, you see how lively they are? Yeah, yeah. 60 degree water. That's my man. No, I gotta say, you the man. It doesn't matter when we come here. It's always, you say, here's what it's gonna be. Is that something you wanna do? Then we go do it. I love that about you. And when it stinks, you say, I can't do it. That's right. There's no smoke in mirrors. What about when it's a Redfish tournament and I say it ain't gonna work? Uh, <laughs> we start calling all our friends. That's right. <laughs> Keep up with the latest Sportsman's Adventures news and events by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Coming up next week on Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy. We head to the Atlantic where it meets the Gulf of Mexico, and we're going to teach you how to fish Key West all year round.